Good morning, Patriots. I'm Antonio. And I'm Gabriel. Here's what's happening at A-Town today. Esto es lo que está pasando hoy en A-Town. Swag, the Students Working Against Hunger Club, is hosting the biggest canned food drive of the year in conjunction with the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank. Alvaro High School will be competing against over 30 schools from the local and surrounding communities to see which school can collect the most canned food to fight hunger, an issue that affects one to six kids. There will be four large orange bins set out between March 7th through March 25th, each with, each with a grade labeled on it. The grade that collects the most canned food will receive a secret reward at the end of the drive. In addition, participating students can earn points for certain clubs and honor societies. SWAG, el club de estudiantes que trabajan contra el hambre, está organizando la colecta de alimentos enlatados más grande del año. En conjunto con el Banco de Alimentos del área de Blue Ridge, la escuela secundaria de Albemarle competirá contra más de 30 escuelas de las comunidades locales y vecinas para ver qué escuela puede recolectar la mayoría de alimentos enlatados para combatir el hambre, un problema que afecta a uno de cada seis niños. Habrá cuatro contenedores grandes de color naranja entre el 7 y el 25 de marzo, cada uno con una etiqueta de grado. El grado que recolecte la mayor cantidad de alimentos enlatados será, recibirá una recompensa secreta al final de la campaña. Además, los estudiantes participantes pueden ganar puntos por, por ciertos clubes y sociedades de honores. Congratulations to Kat Ravich Andron, who is, who is the 2022 Virginia Poetry Out Loud champion. Kat will now go on to the National Poetry Out Loud Championship, which will be held in May against winners from all over the country. Congratulations and good luck, Kat. Felicitaciones a Kat Ravich Andron. Campeona de Virginia de Poetry Out Loud 2022. Kat ahora irá al Campeonato Nacional de Poesía en Voz Alta, que se llevará a cabo en, ma en mayo contra ganadores de todo el país. Felicidades y buena suerte, Kat. The AHS Lantern Literally Slash Art Magazine has extended the deadline for audio and music submissions. Please consider sending us your original re recorded songs, beats, and podcasts. Please send your MP3 files to the submissions form on the Lantern website at ahslantern.wordpress.com. Deadline is Friday, March 18th. La revista HS Lander Literary Art ha extendido la fecha límite para las presentaciones de audio y de música. Considere enviarnos sus canciones, ritmos y podcasts originales grabados. Envíe su archivo MP3 al formulario de envío en el sitio web de Lander en ahslander.wordpress.com. La fecha límite es el viernes 18 de marzo. For band news, the Albemarle Jazz Ensemble performed last night at the Jefferson Theater. A great job to all who performed. It was an awesome to watch. Para noticias de la banda, el Albemarle Jazz Ensemble se presentó anoche en el Teatro de Jefferson. Un gran trabajo para todos los que actuaron. Fue increíble verlo. Now, here's a special announcement from Claire about how you can help support aid to Ukraine. Ahora aquí hay un anuncio especial de Claire sobre cómo puede ayudar a... And I wanted to create a short segment today and discuss what is currently happening in Ukraine. As I'm sure everyone is aware of, an unprovoked invasion began in Ukraine on February 24th. These invasions and the attacks have cost lives and forced over a million individuals to flee the country. People are suffering in Ukraine and people are fearful for their lives and their home. So my grandfather was born in Ukraine in 1933 and he immigrated to the US in 1939. And I wanted to mention him today. Um, he worked extremely hard to build a new life in a country with a language and culture different from his own. Um, he is proud to be Ukrainian and is worried for family members that are currently fighting against forces. Um, both my grandparents urge people to educate themselves on what is currently taking place and are grateful for the amount of global support Ukraine has received. Um, so many organizations and other sources have made a huge effort to support um, these events. I've linked some articles and direct links to organizations that are taking donations to help in all aspects of the situation. Um, so yeah, providing donations, spreading awareness, and reaching out to loved ones um, are all great ways to contribute and support Ukraine. And if anyone wants some links to donate, feel free to email, email me at cnbv8 at k12albemarle.org. And yeah, thank you for listening. Have a great day. Now in sports news, the softball and baseball season gets underway tonight. The softball team will host, or host Fuvana at 6 p.m. And the baseball team will also play Fuvana. That game starts at 6.30 tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, you can choose, you can catch the girls lacrosse season opener against St. Anne's tonight, right here at Albemarle. JV starts at 5 p.m., followed by varsity at 6 p.m. Ahora, en noticias deportivas, la temporada de softball y baseball comienza esta noche. El equipo de softball sal saltará a Flupana a las 6 p.m. Y el equipo de baseball también 
va a jugar y van a ese partido, empieza a las seis y media. Mañana por la noche puede ver el partido inaugural de la temporada de la cross femenino contra Saint Ains, aquí mismo en Aldermont. JB comienza a las 5 p.m. seguido por Parcel y a las 6 p.m. That's all for now. Have a great day, Patriots. Eso es todo por ahora. Que tengan un gran día.